All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching the World's Finest Assassin episode eleven, the semi-finale of the season, I believe. Uh, is the semi-finale? Uh, definitely looking forward to this episode after the reveal of what was to happen now in the last episode of Lou and Dyer. Um, yeah, very excited to get into this. So as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. So he says he wants him to do it. But he always says he has the choice. Ah, see, he does have a choice. Good, okay. I love how, like, calm and collected Lou is about this. Asking the right questions, it's smart. Wait, what? Bro, have they sold off their daughter? Oh, shit, okay. Maybe then does he want to get Dia to fake her death? Maybe? I knew it! Okay, holy shit. Though, considering we already know that in the first episode we saw Dia on his team, I'm thinking it's going to be a fake death situation. Ah, yes, let's go. Okay, this is smart. Yeah, got it. Yeah, and your dad will probably make a different decision. True. You are stupid powerful with mana, Lou. So it would be better for you to go. You gotta accept, bro. Do what you gotta do. Fake her death. Take her with you. Let's go. Yes, my boy. Let's fucking go. Really? And who was that? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Chills. Let's go. What? Oh, shit. The silver hair. I didn't even realize. Oh, God. What? <laughs> Hang on. Cousin. Where do we where does that leave us now, dear being his cousin? Because that's that's a very different situation now. I, why did I not even make the connection between his mum and Daya or Dia looking so similar? Oh my god. Is he just gonna run there? Like super speed? Is he not gonna teleport? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Bro, that's cool. That must be hard to keep up, though. That spell that stops wind from hitting them. Bro, that's crazy. Imagine being able to run so fast without wind resistance. That'd be amazing. Oh, yeah. Slipstream. Goddamn, that's so cool. Bro, Tarte is a tank. God damn. But of course she'd do this this for you. You have gone more than beyond useful with your mana, Tart. So keep doing what you're doing. I mean, it's an unusual situation. As she says, you know, normally if anybody was told, I just need to use you for your ability, it's... It's like, oh, okay, but in her situation, she really is needed by Lou. Like, there's no one else other than her. So, it's it's quite nice to think about. Oh, this rain isn't going to make it any easier. Bro, they're going to run the entire fucking distance doing this, bro. Todd's such a tank. Bro, she's such a good character. God damn. She's still going this fast. Oh crap, she's almost done for. They probably made it so far. Bro, she can't even move her legs. Yeah, you love her, even though you've just found out that she's your cousin. She is such a good character. Oh. 
even though she's so in love with Lou as well. God, that must hurt. That must hurt so much. How far is he away? Mm, can't see the city yet. I suppose they're not... I guess they're not biological cousins. They're more... Not biological? I don't know. Step cousin? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe they are, maybe they are biolog biological cousins. I don't know. This is unusual. And none of them have done very well. But now, this is where Lou comes in. Is he going to try and fight the enemy or is he just going straight to Deer? I mean, he's an assassin, so I guess he wouldn't... Even if he could, he probably wouldn't go attacking armies. He does have enough mana to make, like, a an atom bomb, though, <laughs> basically, so... Maybe. Shit, okay. So who is he shooting? Is he just taking out the magic users? Yeah, so we just got we just got to take out all the magic users on this side then. <laughs> this is so sick. He's literally taking on a whole army. Oh shit! Is he sending like a goddamn arrow nuke? Let's go. <laughs> this guy is crazy. Actually taking out a whole army. Goddamn. You are smart as hell, Lou. Oh, it's just a grenade launcher, not an actual nuke. Okay, time to go and get deer now. Yes. Who is that? Bro, this this guy Lou has really got clairvoyance as well. Crazy. Who is this person he's carrying? Is he carrying a person? Oh, oh! He's gonna use this person as a kind of fake deer. Nice. Oh, this is this is her dad with her, I assume. Oh no, that episode fell so quick, but I'm so excited for the finale. What do we have here at the end? Let's see. What's going on? What is it? Oh, what is it? All right, so that was the World's Finest Assassin, episode 11. Uh, definitely looking forward to the next episode then. Um, seemed kind of the plan went off without a hitch. He's now with Dyer. Uh, so all he has to do is kind of fake her death with the body that he's just picked up, seems like. Um, and then take her away, whisk her away to become one of the harem. Um, definitely interesting to find out that she was his cousin, technically. Uh, don't specifically know how that works, whether it's biological or not. Um, just with... At the moment, just recording a video, I can't really set my brain to think about this. But either way, uh, yeah, it was definitely a surprise. Don't know why I didn't really see the the kind of connection to how his mom looks and then how Daya looks, because they don't do actually thinking about it look very similar. Um, but yeah, excited to see what it is the Maha received in a letter that we will find out in the next episode. Um, it's 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 interesting to see that we weren't given a glimpse as to what that was, um, and we will find out just straight up in the next episode what it would be. But yeah. Very much looking forward to the finale now, and that is that, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.